to my Country Craft Corner. How in the world are you guys doing today? It is so good to see you again and thank you so, so much for stopping back by to see what I'm up to. And what I'm up to today is I am enlisting Chris's help to do our big cozy corner here. And you'll see that I'm dressed in the same thing that I was in my last video, but we're, we're punching out a couple of videos today just because I've got a lot to do, you guys. So bear with me as I kind of look the same, but we're gonna be doing a different uh, vignette today. Uh, let me explain my cozy corners for those of you who have just joined me. Uh, cozy corners are something that I started way back when I very first start when I started my blog. Uh, I had a blog, B-L-O-G, before I had my YouTube channels. And they are all and both my blog and my YouTube channels, I, I give thanks to my sweet friend, Liz, who is no longer with us. She used to live over on Vancouver Island and she used to have Newfoundland dogs, just like Chris and I had. And that's how we met on Facebook. And unfortunately, ALS took her uh, from us, but not before she encouraged me to start my blog and to start my YouTube channels. And she and I came up with the name Cozy Corner because she really liked how I did my corner vignettes. So that's why I call this a Cozy Corner. So anyway, also you'll see that we're going to utilize a big sleigh. And one of you, one of my subscribers, her name is Angel, gave me this many years ago. Thank you, Angel, if you still watch me. I don't even know whether she still watches me. But I appreciate this, this sleigh and we've used it in this corner ever since. Now you all saw the ladder I had stuck in the corner. The ladder is going to be put placed down into the sleigh with green pine, a green pine uh, garland around it. And then you're gonna see what else we're gonna do to bring this cozy corner to life for Christmas. Uh, my husband does not like to be on camera, so you probably will see only his hands, but he is gonna be helping me because I still am you know, babying my knee and he is helping me do a few things. Well, he always helps me with this corner because this corner is, it's a lot to do for one person. So anyway, we're gonna get started here in just a minute and we'll show you how we pull this whole thing together. All right, be right back in just a second. Okie dokie, you guys, I'm back. And where we start this corner is right here, snugged up against, this is our TV credenza here to the left. And then the sleigh is gonna sit kind of right here. And this is just a, a wrought iron table, uh, an old one that we've had. And we have some blocks sitting in it because it's actually, you know, uh, not, it wouldn't work out because I'm going to cover this with a quilt here in a second. So we needed some blocks just so that I could set a little bit of decor on top of them. So these are just blocks that Chris cut up for me from his shop and we have them just up to the rim of this table. So, first of all, one of you guys, and I am so sorry, I cannot remember who, made me this beautiful quilt uh, several years ago. And it says Merry Christmas on it. It has red trucks and on one side of it. And it's just, it's just lovely. It really is just beautiful. And then on the other side, if I wanted to put it up for the, in the winter time, it just has snowmen and a barn and you know, more just wintry decor. So you'll be able to see it better here when I, I'm just gonna plop it right over this table, right like this, and let it hang to the floor. Just like that, I'm gonna snug it back as far as I can get it into the corner. And you know, I'll, I will be tweaking this when everything gets put into place. But for now, that looks pretty good, right like that. And I, all that I know I'm gonna put up here right at this moment is this little basket that we already plugged in because it's hard to get to this, uh, you know, after we're finished decorating everything else. I'm gonna put the wires back behind the quilt and this is gonna sit up here. Actually, why don't I go ahead and decorate real quick up here. I don't have a lot that goes up here. I just have, you know, I think wine bottles maybe come in this. 
We're not wine drinkers, uh, and I don't even remember where I got this. I think I just bought it because I liked what was on the front of it, because we used to have a beautiful little golden retriever named Gracie. So I think that's the reason I bought this, and I used to love red trucks, and I still do decorate with them a little bit. So I'm gonna put that right up there, along with this little gift. And then I have this uh, funky looking Santa Claus, kind of going for the whimsy a little bit in this corner, if you will. And he's got little uh, spool legs and feet. And I just want him to sit kind of right here. Of course that covers up the little golden retriever, but that's okay. I just want him to give him something to sit. I think all the, the only other thing I have is just a, a little Christmas ornament. I'm just going to set that there. Trust me, with everything else I've got going on, I don't need any more than that. All right? All right, we're going to get started on putting this sleigh together, and I'll see if I can get some cam camera angles situated so that you can see, and we'll get doing that right now. Here we come with the ladder. Again, this is a six-foot ladder. Got this ladder at an old country store in Williamsburg, Virginia, many, many years ago. Okay. First thing we're gonna do is, we're, Chris is going to do, is he's going to attach a wreath right to the very top of it. And first of all, you can see, can you see the metal brackets we have on it right there and down over here? Uh, they are plant hangers from Lowe's. And what is going to hang from at least one of them, well, from this one, will be a lantern that the handle will be kind of right in the middle of the, of the edge of the wreath. And then below the wreath, we're going to have a picture hanging there. And then we're going to have bells hanging next to the picture. And that is what the other bracket will be used for to hang the bells on. Okay? So this took a lot of planning the first year we did it, and that's why I'm not gonna recreate the wheel, because I really love how this worked out, and I'm not gonna recreate the wheel. So Chris is actually putting, let me show, putting tie wraps through, this is the wreath we're gonna put up, and this is a store-bought wreath. I did not make this wreath either, oh my goodness. It's two videos in a row that I didn't make a couple of the wreaths. I got this from Aunt That several years ago, and one of you guys gave me this little sign. It's the most wonderful time of the year. And then he has, as you can see, put tie wraps through the grapevine, and the tie wraps, and the, the tie wraps will wrap around the rails of the ladder. So here comes the hand, we call him. I got the ladder. Let me turn it. Let me turn it towards you. Yay! Next, Next, we have a picture that we're going to add to this. And I don't remember. This is the picture here. And you can see we already have uh, pipe cleaners on the back of it. And it will kind of show, show us where we want to put it on the rungs of the ladder. And this is the picture. And it goes right underneath the lantern there. The lantern does not hang on it, no. I'm gonna hold the picture. And Chris is gonna use the pipe cleaners to tie it onto the ladder. Well, we're gonna put the whole ladder down into this sleigh. Okay, now I'm going to hold the garland out of the way and Chris is going to put the ladder. You can see this guy, he's, he's stuck in there. We have him stuck on a box. But the ladder is going to go right down behind this garland. And it needs to be kind of tilted, just a smidge. There we go. And then we move it back. And the wall holds it up. Okie dokie. We figured out how it goes again. I'll tell you, this is a bear, this thing. Now we're adding a second piece of garland to hide all of the, uh, or to fill in between the wreath and the picture, and then below the picture down, and, and it'll go into the sleigh. 
and we just plugged it all in and it all is working, thank goodness. There's, Chris says there's no guarantee it's gonna work after we've manipulated it so much. Of course, you always have to remember to fluff. Chris is just tie wrapping this piece of garland onto the rung of the ladder so that we can hold it up into place. And I'm going to fill in the rest of the sleigh here in just a second. Also, these lanterns uh, that you can see up there, I have uh, just a piece of a pipberry garland wrapped in fairy lights. And Chris has rigged them up so that they will come on with our A L E X A. Uh, and he has a whole video where he shows you how to do that kind of thing. It is always linked in every description box of every video I put up. So if you're interested in learning how to uh, rig up a battery operated like fairy lights or candle or anything like that and have it come on and be and work like an electric light would, check it out. So there we go. That is the basic. <laughs> Oh my goodness, Slay Cozy Corner. This, as a, again, this is not for the faint of heart doing this little corner. Uh, it, it takes a lot of patience. We have to put our patience hats on and we really have to work hard at it, you guys. But we have the desire for to use the sleigh and the ladder and to really bring in, the, in, in Christmas with this corner. So we have one more lantern that sits down here in the um, in the sleigh with Santa. And as you can see, Chris is an integral part of the brass tacks of how I get my stuff to work, you guys. I could not do what I do without Chris. Honest to Pete, I couldn't. This is what Chris looked like. <gasps> oh, what did you do? Oh, he scratched himself. Did you see? Oh my gosh, how did you do that? <laughs> oh my Lord, honey. You all right? Do we need to get stitches? <laughs> Oh, gee. Okay, he plugged these in. I don't see that they're on, but I'm sure he will fix them. We're going to continue on here. This lantern sits right here. I got these lanterns from, I believe, oh my goodness, at home, I think, you guys. I got these a couple of years ago. So this lantern sits down here, and it's held in by the, by the uh, garland. By the, like the twig of the garland or the branch of the garland that's held in there nice. And I usually stick Santa's hand through there if I can get it to stay. Sometimes he cooperates. Okay, now all I'm gonna do, literally you guys, is just add a few things here and there. And that's gonna finish up this decor. So, and first thing I'm gonna do is I'm gonna tie a pretty velvet bow. This is a funky bow. And I'm gonna tie this right to the ladder, I believe, right in that spot there that's not covered. There we go. Need to fluff it a little bit here. And then I'm gonna tie it right to the rung of the ladder. Look, it has a gold backing. I got this ribbon from, I think, ribbonsinc.com, something like that. I'm gonna slide over here and tie it right here onto Right here. All right, there we go. I'm sure I'll come back and revisit this too, knowing me. Trying not to be too, too picky, but. Okay, next I have a couple of real pretty poinsettias. I'm gonna put, and they have clips on them. I'm gonna put one here on the front, right in there. And then I have a couple of big boxes. I got these from Walmart a couple of years ago, you guys. And these are just like metal uh, wire underneath of it covered with uh, the pretty ticking and then with a pretty design on the front. So, I don't remember how I had these in here last year, but we're going to go for it. Okay. 
Then I have <laughs> two more things, three more things. Have another poinsettia. And I think we will put it, I, again, I don't know where I had it before, but to my eye, it looks, I think it would be pretty right here. Then I have a little Christmas mouse I got from Piper Classics last year. Isn't he cute? Look at him. Last year or the year before. I think I'm gonna put him right here. Or maybe back here, kind of overseeing. And with his hand on Santa's shoulder. We forgot the bells, honey. Oh my goodness. I'm gonna put the bells up on the up on that other. And we will fix those. We need to fix those. And then I have one more little Christmas ball, and I'm going to put that right up front here. Then, to pull Santa's sleigh, he needs some reindeer, you know? So, these I used on my mantle last year, and I, I was using these two guys last year. I'll probably put them somewhere else. I want to use the bigger ones this year. So, they're going to go right in front of Santa's sleigh. I do not have any dogs in here. If I still had my big Newfies, there's no way in the world I would be able to set those reindeer there because they'd be, there'd be their tails would come in and swoosh them right away. <laughs> but for now, I think I can uh, put them there. And I think this looks really pretty and we're figuring out the bells here. So once we get them on, we just are hanging them on the, on the other hook up there and we'll figure out how they go and i will be back for a final video and some final words in just a few minutes chris says thank you and goodbye the hand <laughs> i appreciate him so much all right i think that's the way they go huh yeah. i'm gonna do a little tweaking i'll be back there we go that's how they go that's how they go chris says that's how they go there they go they're pretty all right, I'll be right back and don't go away because I'll show you the final product once I get this bow situated and I'll come back for some final words and then a final video of the whole thing. All right, all right, be right back. Okie dokie, everybody. There we are, we are finished. Oh my goodness gracious. As I said, this is not for the faint of heart. Doing this corner for us is not for the faint of heart and we have to find our patient's hats and we have to place them squarely on our heads and then we have to just attack it and once it's put together i'm always so happy with it and it just makes me happy to see it because it reminds me of my friend liz and i always kind of dedicate this corner to her it reminds me of angel who gave me the sleigh it reminds me of the lovely lady who gave me the quilt you know so many memories wrapped up in that pretty bow there so anyway that's it for today let me take a moment to ask you if you would uh, please take a moment to subscribe to my channel if you would. If you like what you're seeing here with my Christmas decor, we have a lot more to go. Let me tell you. And we do red, white, and gold on this side of the house. And then once we get to that side over there, we lighten up the palette and do ice blue all the way through the blue palette to a blue and white tree. So... I'm telling you, we have a lot to go. I'm gonna to try to get done before Thanksgiving. I'm not sure if these videos won't go past Thanksgiving. We'll see how I do, I'm not sure. I'm working really hard though, because I have company coming a lot in December and uh, I need to get done. I need to get done, you guys. But anyway, if you would, I, I humbly ask you if you would please subscribe. If you haven't, hit the subscribe button, hit the like, then hit the notification bell so that you never miss one of my uploads. So I'll just say thank you so much for stopping in here today. I hope all is well with everyone. For those of you who might be struggling or suffering with a catastrophic illness or chronic pain, I hope that you have someone there with you, taking care of you, helping you get through each day, making the very, very best out of each day. I hope there's nothing weighing on your minds or your hearts, pulling your attention away from where you want it to be or from where it should be. I love you all to bits to bits to bits, hugs all around, and I keep you in my thoughts and my prayers every single day. And with all that said, I'll just say, don't go away. I'll do a video from top to bottom so you can see everything up close. But until next time, y'all take good, good care.
Bye-bye.